It had been just three months since I'd got out of the business that I'd started and run for 10 years. Three short months since I'd sat in a restaurant opposite my business partner and best friend and told her that I no longer wanted to run the business that we'd been running together. In just three months since I'd felt that incredibly light feeling of having all the opportunity and options open to me to be able to choose a career path or a job or a new project based on anything that I wanted. But now, here I was sat in a different restaurant, having just had a very difficult meeting with my second now ex-business partner about a business that we'd started just two months before. The opportunity had come to me after leaving the advertising agency, and it had seemed like a good idea at the time for me to start this business with a new partner. But pretty much from the beginning, it was doomed for failure. The business required a huge amount of time, a huge amount of capital to start, was in an industry that I wasn't that passionate about, would require us to build a sales team of up to 100 people, and pretty much from the beginning, myself and my new business partner didn't see eye to eye. So there I found myself one day, just three months after that light, incredibly freeing feeling that I felt, sitting in a restaurant with another business just gone out the window, wondering how on earth did that happen? How did I get to that place where I could choose to do whatever I wanted? And then I jumped literally from the frying pan into the fire. The difficult thing about this is understanding what it was that made me make those choices that got me back into that decision. And it led me down a path of self-discovery where I spent a huge amount of time asking myself questions about what led me to get straight back into a business that was so similar to the one that I just got out of that I'd felt so trapped in for so long. Pretty much what I discovered is something that I found out applies so much in my life in every single time that I'm faced with the choice of making a decision where I find it difficult to make a decision or I'm completely frozen by indecision, it's almost always because I'm not 100% sure about which path it is that I need to take. I'm not perfectly clear about what it is exactly that I want from my life. Having spent a little bit of time deciding exactly how I want my life to look, documenting exactly how I want my life to be, it's now very, very clear to me when I make decisions about anything, including things like businesses and new business projects. Does this new opportunity get me closer to or further away from this perfect life that I've designed for myself? It doesn't always work out according to plan, and there's no such thing as a perfect life, but if you're striving every single day for something that you know that you truly, truly want, and you know what that is, you're never going to have a hard time making a decision or not making a decision at all, but rather making the wrong decision or not making a decision at all. Because when you know what that path is and you clearly know what that path is, the right decision is almost always inevitable. I wish that I had been a little bit clearer about what my path was and exactly what I wanted from my life when I got out of my first business because it would have saved me the money and the heartache of going through another business very similarly, which ended in tears. But I don't think I'd learned my lesson yet. I needed to go back one more time and to get into a position that I needed to learn a lesson where I can now reflect and be very, very clear about the type of projects and the type of work that I want to take on and know that they clearly align to exactly what it is that I want to get out of my life.